Oh man, this one, oh, I love going deep, but making it simple enough that I can understand it. This one we call deliberate self-exposure. Sounds kind of crazy, right? Deliberate self-exposure. Write that down. We're gonna jump into it. When I can master this thought process, this lifestyle of deliberate self-exposure, it helps eliminate consequences from life. That's a big statement, right? So what does that mean? Deliberate self-exposure, and when I master this, it eliminates consequences from life. Well, let's look at internal discipline versus external discipline. I just gave this example the other day. When we utilize this self-exposure, we expose ourselves so we can make the change before outside forces force us to make the change. So very, very simple. Internal discipline, when I'm driving on the freeway and the speed limit is 65, if I keep it between 65 and let's say 72, that might be pushing, let's say 70. I have that self-discipline, I'm driving the speed limit, I do not get external consequences by getting pulled over by a cop and get a ticket for speeding. However, if I do not practice this internal discipline, if I do 120 miles an hour, I'm gonna have external forces come in on me and rain consequences. So this deliberate self-exposure is as I'm driving, I tend to look down every, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds just to make sure that I'm driving the speed limit. If I feel myself going quicker, I look down. That is this self-exposure. So here's the question. What areas in your life do you need to expose to yourself? It's not this thing of, hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm telling myself I'm a terrible person. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is this deliberate self-exposure of stating, oh, in this area, maybe I'm not being completely transparent or honest, or in this area, I'm kind of shucking and jiving and trying to keep some of the information away from some people that can help me. When I call myself on this, I can course correct before it's too late. This internal discipline, this self-exposure helps create this lifestyle of honesty and truth and no longer do I have to live in the shame and judgment, but it's, oh, I made a mistake here. Let me correct it, find out what I can do to course correct before I keep going and then these external consequences, this external force comes in and has to intervene. So it literally is as simple as this self-awareness, this exposure on a daily basis, sometimes hourly of what am, what's my thought process? What am I doing? And when I recognize this, I can course correct. So out in the future, I don't have to worry about the external consequences coming down on me. That's today's lesson.